Regina's really, or Regina and Evil Queen. Are we going to get some funny mix-ups at all of other characters thinking that the Evil Queen is Regina right on the off the top of the season? I don't think the Evil Queen wants to give up those costumes. She really likes her attire. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. She's not very subtle. At least, you know, yeah. those headdresses and those crazy hairdos and I, I don't know. I, I don't I don't think we're gonna see that just yet. Who knows? It's episode two. <laughs> so yeah. I know very little. Mm -hmm. Are you looking forward to getting back into that more often, the Evil Queen? I am. It's been a lot of fun. It's only been a few weeks, but um, it's been great. It's a bit challenging but kind of she's different than what she used to be. It's what she was before, she was still a part of Regina, and Regina, she had a conscience, she has a conscience, so, and she was quite vulnerable in moments, so I just, I don't know how the Evil Queen's going to kind of do that with some things, but it'll be interesting to see how she is without a conscience, and how far she's willing to go to get her revenge because she still is hung up over Snow White and getting her heart. So I don't think that's going to change. So I think Regina in Storybook is going to be battling, battling against her quite a bit. I was going to ask how, um, how having her separated from you, how does that affect you know, um, Regina's relationships with Henry, with Emma, um, because there's, there's that darkness that's not there anymore. So how does that, you know, does that change the way that Regina interacts with people? Um, or is her hero arc complete? Is there, you know, is the evil self just another villain? Um, or is it... So how many should I answer? <laughs> <laughs> like, I have 18, I'm just going to ask you all of them. Um, I think that Regina is... I think she's still really trying to be that hero, still making decisions. Like, she looks to Snow and asks, Snow is probably her biggest confidant, um, and she turns to Snow for advice, and part of her feels like this is karmic. You know, it's it's because she's hurt, you, know, you saw it in the finale, in that monologue, where she's like, I've done terrible things, and this is why this is happening. And, and she still feels that way, but she's a fighter. And so she's not going to just let the evil queen win. She's going to battle against her and really fight for this redemption and you know, for her happiness. How has it been playing against yourself in scenes? Should we take it to the next level, like Orphan Black, and have 10 Regina? I know, I always call Tatiana and be like, okay, so let's tell me what, how does it work. Yeah. Um, um, it's been really interesting. I've only done one scene thus far. And um, playing opposite me, and what you, what ends up happening is you have a double who's dressed like me, and then I have to think in advance, like what am I going to do on that side? So I have to come like totally prepared for both sides before we start, so I can help my double. And like the other day, we we did a scene where they're like, okay, so you have to figure out. I was playing Regina, normal Regina. I'm just going to call her Regina, and then the Evil Queen. That's easier. Um, I was Regina, and we had a double playing the Evil Queen, and they were like, well, what are you going to do as the Evil Queen? And I said, well, I'm, I mean, we're not shooting that till like, tomorrow. I don't know yet. Like, you have an idea, but it's different once I put the costume on, it changes me. And so much is discovered in the moment. You know, there's choices and preparation, of course. Nat knows me quite well and knows that Cap is very important to me. Um, so there's some idea, but then you kind of throw it all away and you go and you just discover what's going to happen in the moment. And it's hard to do that when you're playing one side and your double's playing the other and you have to figure out what they're going to do when you're trying to be one other person. So I'm still figuring that out and I'm okay with that. I'm okay that it's not all figured out yet. You know, and I think that it's not all figured out for everyone. So it's, it's a process.
Um, so I'm just gonna go for Jared. Oh, I think you're going too, so. Jared, um, because of everything happening with Regina, do you think Henry's going to be more protective this season? I think with everything uh -huh. happening with Regina, it's it's interesting because Henry now has three mothers with the evil queen in the situation. Uh, so it's like, how is he gonna react to the evil queen? And then, it, yeah. <laughs> well, well. And, it better be nice. <laughs> yeah, and um, so he's still, and of course, he's going to do his best to protect his family because he cares about them and he wants them to be safe. So he's not just gonna stand on the sidelines. Anymore. He's probably the safest <laughs> yeah. in yeah. Storybrooke right now. He's yeah. the most untouched. I was gonna say, I was. Adam and Eddie says they say that the evil queen loves Henry. Yeah. So how? But how does he feel about her in return? Well, it's it's like it's hard to explain because she raised him for ten years, and so he has to have some sort of feelings toward her. And even before, when the evil queen was still in Regina, he still wanted to see the good in Regina, which means he wanted to see the good in the evil queen. But now that that's gone. It will be interesting to explore. Yeah, and I think, I mean, what's really cool about this is that everyone's going to see how they feel, and I think it's going to be very organic in a moment. And, you know, I think it'll be written that way where we deal with how we're going to react to her for the first time when we see her, and what does that mean? And I think with Henry, yeah, he's probably going to be the most torn because there are going to be people that are trying to kill the evil queen, and Henry always sees the good and everybody. That's that's what's so beautiful about his character. So he's probably going to see the redeeming qualities in her as well. And who knows? Maybe he'll try to help her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or she'll poison the whole town and kidnap you. <laughs> Which could be fun to fly off on a magic carpet. Will we see Regina still dealing with the loss of Robin? Is she still going to be having to handle that? Yes. I think so. I think Regina is also quite private. Um, which I love about her. I think that it's really hard for her to open up and she has, like I said, with Snow being one of her confidants and um, arms up. Arms up! <laughs> Okay, sorry. Um, um, but, um, what was I saying? <laughs> I was worried, I thought you were dying. That Regina's very private. Regina is very about. private. Yeah. And she's, um, and she, I think those moments where you see her mourning, like you don't, we don't see that quite yet. I think there's still time for that to be written, and it will over, I mean, we all deal with loss differently, and, and especially in, with these characters, like there's so much going on. As soon as we start the season, we have Hyde, and Gold is, you know, giving him Storybrook. And so right now we need to save Storybrook and protect our civilians. Um, and that's why I think a lot of these moments, with the loss with Robin, is, is more private. It's talked about, but I think her grieving happens behind closed doors. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.